Hey you, do you want to be a plush tuber? Yes? Well good for you, I mean, do you really want to sacrifice your sanity to play with toys on YouTube? I'm sorry, I'm just gonna have to put a disclaimer right here. Don't think your soul is worth keeping? Good, let's get you started. With the flow of plush videos on YouTube, it may seem hard to keep up with your competition at first, but in reality it's barely as wet considering most other aspiring plush tubers are a bunch of 8 and 9 year olds. The most important part about plush videos are plush. Say, do you have any plush just lying around? No? Well say goodbye to your wallet for the next one or two years as you buy tons of plush for your collection. But let's not put all that money that you spent on your totally not overpriced Rally plush to waste. Instead of just opening the package and getting straight to making a new video, film a video of you unboxing the plush because everyone in the world cares about a spoiled brat cutting a package holding a plush. Now that you've spent all your birthday and Christmas money on about a dozen plush or so, it's time to get filming. Start a new series. You could start a series about something that no one in the plush community has done before, or you could do another total drama ripoff. What, you think people might accuse you of being a ripoff? Don't worry, literally everyone in the community does this sort of thing and they're totally okay with it being ripped off over and over again. Plus, it doesn't matter how original your idea is, there will be SML fans claiming that you're a ripoff of Logan no matter what. Trust me, those people think that the universe is a ripoff of Logan just because they both exist. Great, you finished the first few videos on your channel. In about a year, you look back at these and think of yourself as cringy, but these particular videos will be the ones with the most views on your channel contrary to your newer videos. This is because six-year-olds don't give a crap about quality, they just care about plushness. Speaking of your six-year-old audience, prepare to see your comment sections be filled with comments requesting you to do the most ridiculous things that you don't want to do, accounts with SML character names commenting the same three phrases, and other types of comments that will make you question how a human can possibly be this dumb. Thinking of quitting now? Yes? Well, while you're at it, why don't you make a new series? Oh, you think you'll enjoy it? No, no, no. But instead of just a few thousand views, this will get thousands upon thousands of views and you'll get hundreds if not thousands of subscribers from this. You think you might actually get some intelligent subscribers? No, 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 maybe one or two, but for the most part you'll just gain more reasons to hate SML and his fans with a burning passion. And this is the part where you lose your sanity! Bye, Sanity. You want to end that one popular series on your channel that you hate now? Well, you can, but just be aware of the fact that every day there will be seven-year-olds who will ask you to continue the series, only to get outraged when you tell them that you won't continue it. But you really want to make videos that you're content with? Well, go on ahead. Make videos that you think aren't total crap while you watch your view count plummet and your sub count stagnate. And then you wonder why SML became so successful despite having little crap as content. And then you realize all you have to do is repeat the same thing 10 times, stretch all your videos out to the 10 minute mark, and make it so that all of your videos have an interchangeable subject. Congratulations! Your videos actually have views again! And now that you're successful-ish, do you want your wallet back? Well, you've gotten into the habit of seeing all your Christmas money just disappear and now you can't stop buying plush. And that's the life of a plush tuber. Saying you're broke while standing in front of your collection of 60 plush worth hundreds of dollars, and making mediocre content for the pleasure of 5 year olds who don't please you back. I mean, it's not my fault you didn't listen to the warning.